Welcome to Venice, California, where Honda chose to introduce its new Bobber-inspired 2017 Rebel 300 and Rebel 500. The Rebel name, however, is far from new. The Rebel 250 has been a staple in Honda's entry-level lineup since 1985. The Rebel 250, a bike that so many of us learned to ride a motorcycle on, has run its course and has been replaced by the Rebel 300 and 500, which feature a more modern look to inspire a newer generation of people with a newer taste of style. The Rebel 300 and 500 have nothing in common with the previous Rebel, except for one very important thing. The new Rebels are still targeted for the new motorcycle rider, or for those who are looking to get back into motorcycling and want to feel the wind in their face again. The 300 is for the true beginner. It features an unintimidating and easy to manage 286cc liquid cooled four stroke single cylinder engine, which is the same engine found in the sportier CBR 300, but tuned for a little more low end performance. The 500 is powered by the same 471cc liquid cool parallel twin that propels Honda's CBR 500, but again tuned for torque. Like the 300, it too is easy to manage but offers more of a kick, which heavier riders and more experienced riders will appreciate over the 300. 300 or 500 both have sufficient power to get you around town, and they launch from a stop extremely well, another great attribute for the beginner but the 300 struggles a bit to get up to freeway speeds and works hard to stay there. It can do it though, but if you plan to ride the freeways a lot, think 500. Both bikes have low seat heights, measured right around 27 inches, which is a great confidence booster for the new rider and even the experienced one. The bikes have neutral ergonomics that are comfortable, though a little tight for those of you pushing six feet and a couple of inches. Sitting position is fairly straight up and down with the foot pegs positioned right underneath you, not far forward like you'd see on a typical cruiser bike. The Rebels also feel very light between your legs, they handle well and are very stable at speed. Bottom line, they are both extremely easy to ride. One thing that is really cool about the Rebels is that once you've mastered the roads, Honda designed the new Rebels so that you will want to keep them making them easy to customize and personalize, which is a big part of the bobber world. You can bet that the aftermarket companies will go crazy with these bikes. We've already seen some great examples of modified Rebels. So, 300 or 500? You know, price just might be the deciding factor. The MSRP for the 500 is $59.99 and $43.99 for the 300, a $1,600 difference. If you plan on taking the freeways, you'll be glad you spent the extra money on the 500. Otherwise, you'll like being a rebel on either one.